Today we are going to discuss about VLAN. A VLAN is a virtual local area network. It's a logical grouping of a devices that appears to be working on the same LAN even if they are geographically distributed. It can be also said as a group of end devices having the same requirements but uh, in a dif different physical locations or put in the same broadcast domain. It can be spread across a multiple switches in the network or it can be managed in, in a single switch. The switches in the network maintains the integrity of the VLAN. In general, there are 4096 VLAN to the maximum. It can be divided into two ranges, that's a normal range VLAN, that's from 1 to 1005 and from 1006 to 4096 is an extended range of VLAN. The main advantage of using a VLAN is it minimizes the network broadcast message. For example, if a host sends a broadcast message to the switch, in general, the switch will broadcast the message to all the directly connected hosts in the network. But instead, if you are using a VLAN, if a host belongs to a particular VLAN, sends a broadcast message to a switch, instead of broadcasting the message to all the directly connected de devices or host, the switch will send only to the host that belongs to the particular VLAN. So this minimizes the broadcast messages in the network and due to this the network performance will be better and uh, as a huge network is divided into a uh, multiple uh, small segments it's easy to administrate and it's flexible to and uh, easy to manage and it also minimizes the number of devices we are using so it reduces the cost of a network and it's secure to use so now we are going to see about the functions of uh, vlan by using a packet tracer so now uh, before going to understand VLAN, now we need to have a clear uh, understanding about how uh, ARP messages generated from a host and how the broadcast messages are threaded across the network. Because if you understand this then it's easy for us to know the advantages of the VLAN in depth. So this is a layer 2 network, it's a 10.0.0.0 slash 10.4 network for example. Uh, if I'm going to communicate from this PC to this. So I just know only the IP address of this PC. So in order to communicate from this to this, nearly I, merely IP address is not enough. Apart from that, this PC should know the MAC address of this in order to have a communication. For example, if I am going to, if I ping 10, 0, 0.6 it will generate it will generate an ARP message to learn the MAC address of this device and this ARP is sent to the switch and the switch will broadcast to all the directly connected devices that's it the ARP message is spreaded across the network and then the destination will send back the MAC address of the destination to the source and once it learned the MAC address of the destination then it will send the ICMP packets. This is a small network just imagine for example if you are using some thousands of a system within a LAN uh, at the same time how many broadcast message will be sent. This degrades the performance of the network. So in order to overcome this degradation, we are going to use VLAN. So now let's see how VLAN works. Here I have split the network into two segments that is PC0, PC1 and PC2 into VLAN 10 and PC3, PC4, PC5 as VLAN 20. So uh, here the thing is if a system want, if a host want to communicate with uh, another host within a VLAN there is no need for a routing protocols and all. If at the same time if a host want to communicate with a different host uh, in a different VLAN then it needs a routing functions uh, that we will discuss in later. Here we will see how VLAN works. Now I am going to communicate from PC0 to PC2. So now I am going to ping. 10 0 0 dot 3 so in order to know the MAC address in order to learn the MAC address of this PC 
the PC0 will generate a ARP message and it will send it to the switch and the switch in general the switch will broadcast the ARP message to all the directly connected nodes. So here as we are using a VLAN the broadcast messages will be limited. So that is instead of flooding the broadcast message to across the network it will flood the broadcast message only to this particular VLAN that is VLAN 10 let's see. The ARP message is sent to the switch. Now the switch will broadcast the ARP message only to the remaining switch, remaining nodes belongs to the same VLAN. So in uh, in the first scenario we have seen when the uh, PC0 generator ARP message and sent to the switch, switch broadcast across the networks. This broadcast message prevents the, uh, makes the network performance degrade. So as we, now we have created into different VLANs, the broadcast message has been simplified. So now this PC2 will send a replay message for the ARP request. Now PC0 learned the MAC address of PC2. Now directly it will send the ICMP packets. So this is how the broadcast message in the network has been reduced by using the VLAN. So now it's IP, ICMP packets. If you see now, so we have got four replays from the destination. This is how VLAN works. I select the same. Now we'll try from here. That's PC3. Now I'm going to ping from 10.009 to 10.0011. Let's see what happened. Ping 10.0011. 0.11 I have been from 10.0.09 to 10.0.0.11 see here as this PC this PC3 learned the as this already learned the MAC address of the remaining two PCs, now it directly said, sent the ICMP message instead of sending an ARP message. So it directly sending the ICMP packet to the destination and getting the replay for the ICMP request. So this is how VLAN works.